Enough. Enough wallowing. It is pathetic. Seems fitting of me. Hmm. You've let these rich white people soften you. Uh-uh. Get up. Come with me. pleasure to speak with you today thank you so much man thanks for taking the time of course and again i said great film so thank you for releasing that it's a great visual art we, that we need so my question pretty much because we know you from the last episode and things like that but what made you want to bring this story to film i just think it's an incredible story that most of us have never heard of like i i know i certainly just speaking for myself i had never heard of Joseph Bologna or Chevalier until I was fortunate enough to get sent the script by Searchlight Pictures. I, I I had never, never heard of him. And so the more I kind of rolled up my sleeves and delved into his life is the more fascinated and amazed I became uh, at the incredible kind of expanse of his life, the significance of his life and how contemporary it felt even though it was happening in pre-revolutionary France and so it it, uh, it was you know not to mention by the way that you know Joseph Bologna is from Guadalupe Caribbean island I'm from Jamaica nope. uh, both made our way to Europe so you know it's a personal it, it felt personal on the micro and the macro level so you know it was uh I was just compelled to, to tell the story yeah, that makes a lot of sense, too. And then I have to ask about the actor. How did you guys decide on Kelvin Harrison Jr. was the right for the role? What did he bring that nobody else could? He brought, uh, I tell you, he brought uh, a commitment, a dedication, uh, a focus, a level of hard work. Like all the violin that you see in that movie, that's Kelvin. There's no stunt doubles. There's no trickery. There's no CG. The fencing, that's all, that's all Kelvin. Like in addition to, you know, the requirement, the other requirements of his work, right. acting and, you know, and, uh, and, and he had to kind of find a way, you know, for us, Shivali was like the prince of his time period, right? He was like Prince or Hendrix, you know, this dude had moved through French society with swagger. Yeah. And so we had to feel like, Kelvin had to feel like he had one foot planted in the period, but one foot that, in a in a more contemporary tonality and to blend those two seamlessly he was the only guy who could do that yeah i would say perfection what do you want people to get from the story when they watch it what's like the overall goal for you man i just want people to feel you know uh empowered uh i want people to feel because joseph's story in many ways is you know i already i already let the cat out of the bag the jamaican heritage so i'm gonna go all the way you know we have our own musical revolutionary you know bob marley and you know he said you know emancipate yourselves from mental slavery none but ourselves can free our minds and joseph's journey through the whole movie is about uh a man who is emancipating himself from you know French society and coming into a greater sense of self-awareness. So hopefully if we can walk that walk with him, we'll feel as empowered as he feels by the end of the movie. Um, uh, but, you know, overall, I just want people to be entertained and to the music is dope. And, uh, and, and I want them to learn something about somebody they never they, they, they may have never heard of before. Yeah, definitely. All good points. I love that. So you got to tell people, you told them, but tell people why they need to go and see Chevalier April 21st in theaters. Thank you so much. <laughs> tell our viewers why they need to go see the movies. Oh, tell me. Oh, because <laughs> they have a good time because they're going to be entertained and they're going to learn something. And that's a W, man. Anytime you can go to the movies and be entertained and learn something, that's a that, that's a W. That's a win. I agree. What's next for you? Uh, don't know yet, um, but uh, when I do, I'll holler back at you. Real good. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, thank you for taking time out speaking with us, Steven. We really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to what you do next, and congratulations on this film. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you taking the time. No problem. You have a good one. All right. You as well. 
Welcome to Paris, Joseph. Monsieur, I fear this will not be a kind place to such a boy. The boy has talent, but one in particular that is exceptional. Very well. I realized the more I exiled, the less I was alone. Were you always so competitive? Get the show off who spoiled Mozart's concert. May I play with you, monsieur? Well, I hope this won't be embarrassing for you. Who the hell is that? You are quite a remarkable man, Joseph. I, Marie Antoinette, Queen of France, hereby anoint you Chevalier. In any other country, a man of your color would not be wearing such fine clothes. One day, the whole world will know me. And of course, the music will be spectacular. Bold. You don't belong here. You're a party trick. You're a pet. Playing the violin, that is all. You know I am the best. You are playing a dangerous game, friend. You forget your place, boy. Break his hands. This world is painful for us, my son. But there is always the choice to fight. I am putting on a concert. Let us fund the revolution. We cannot afford to make any more enemies. France is changing. You could be more influential than you know. Leverage it. If you take to the stage, you will be erased. There will be no new France. You cannot topple what has been ordained by God. Not everything is about you people.